Okay, so essential fatty acids. Um, actually, essential fatty acids kind of you know, have connection with our university. Um, it, it, essential fatty acids was discovered by a Dr. George Burr in 1944, right? Very long time ago. Um, actually, he worked um, at the Hormel Institute, you know, and at University. Uh, Department of Biochemistry at University of Minnesota, right? So uh, I was kind of proud, right? <laughs> um, so definition for essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids are fatty acids that are required in the diet. The reason why we need to get essential fatty acids from the diet because we are not able to synthesize, right, in the body. So essential fatty acid cannot be synthesized in our body because we lack specific enzymes um, that is needed for synthesis of essential fatty acids, which are delta 12 and delta 18 desaturase. So we, I think we've also mentioned the um, desaturase before, right? We when we talk about a, uh, you no know, synthesis of it. Um, Unsaturated fatty acids. Remember which uh, desaturate desaturates that we talked about before, and it should be uh, present in our body. Cannot remember. Delta five, delta six, right, and delta nine desaturates. So we have a delta five, delta six, and delta nine desaturates. But we do not have delta 12 and delta 14 uh, desaturase, right? Because of the double bond position, right? So this, uh, you know, delta 12, delta 8, uh, 15 desaturase are required for synthesized long chain unsaturated, you know, the uh, essential fatty acids. Okay, so um, that's the definition, and we have uh, two classes of essential fatty acids in our body, uh, omega-6 and omega-3, right? So lin uh, linoleic acid, which has uh, 18 uh, carbons and, sorry, and two double bonds is the um, omega-6 uh, essential fatty acids, right? And this fatty acids it's most abundant in the diet. Um, and, and this essential fatty acid, linoleic acid, uh, can be used for synthesized uh, omega-6 uh, fatty acid family members. For example, arachidonic acid, uh, arginic acid, and these two fatty acids also uh, belong to um, omega-6 fatty acids, right? And these two fatty acids, um, we're okay, we are able to synthesize from the linoleic acid right, in, in, in the body. Um, but linoleic acid, essential fatty acid, we must acquire from the diet, right? Um, and the other classes of essential fatty acids, omega-3 fatty acids, uh, which is alpha linoleic acid, um, this essential fatty acid contain 18 carbons and three double bonds, right? Um, and we have uh, two uh, omega-3 family members, the EPA and DHA, and these two omega-3 family member, members can be synthesized in the body from alpha linolenic acid, right? So is that clear, you know, which one is the essential fatty acid and the relationship to the other family members, right? So we only have uh, two essential fatty acids that we need to uh, obtain or get from the diet. Um, but the other uh, two uh, family members in each, ca each class of fatty acids can be synthesized from essential fatty acids. Um, and what about, uh, um, you know, essential fatty acids uh, function? 
um, so non-essential fatty acid, for example, um, uh, palmitate acid or the other um, type of fatty acids, and we know the main function of of those um, non-essential fatty acids is to uh, provide energy, right? To be used to oxidize, you know, and <clears throat> as an energy fuel uh, for ATP production. And this is the main function of non-essential fatty acids. Um, and usually, the non-essential fatty acids is stored in the form of triglyceride in adipose tissue, right? Um, and essential fatty acids usually is not uh, metabolized for energy, right? Um, and, but it's very important component of cell membranes. Right, so most of the essential fatty acids are localized in, you know, the cell, uh, cell membranes. Right, it constitutes the uh, cell membrane, um, and also involved in the um, uh, uh, different uh, biological uh, processes. Right, um, you know, some of the essential fatty acids uh, are important to regulate, you know, signaling. Uh, as a signaling molecules and regulate uh, gene expression and, and, and related functions, right? Um, so, of course, the amount or the uh, levels or concentration of essential fatty acids is relative low, right, compared to the non-essential fatty acids because of the function, right? Not, not a, a f for the energy use, right, but, you know, for the um, other, you know, important things. Um, and this is a structure you, you probably already know, right? We sh showed this before. Um, just wanted to get you some uh, idea, you know, on how we define the omega-3 and omega-6. Um, so fatty acid structure usually has the carboxy end and methyl end, and in the middle uh, we have a high carbon chain, right, and depend on the, you know, which fatty acids, the lens can be different. Um, and we also um, talk, talked about before, right, the numbering system. So DELT, if you still remember, usually numbering the, uh, the carboxy carbon as a one, and then, you know, the rest of it just following the, um, the order. Um, and omega or N numbering system we mentioned before. So basically, the uh, N method, um, the first carbon N method, uh, uh, is, is, is named one. Um, so the uh, omega three or omega six fatty acids basically is refers to the first uh, double bond position. Right, where it's located. If it is located at the omega-3 position, for example, this one, we usually this, you know, uh, type of fatty acid we call omega-3 fatty acids. And uh, if first double bond located at uh, omega-6 carbon position, and we uh, consider this type of fatty acids as the uh, uh, omega-6 fatty acids, right? And you know. Again, the first double bond location we define based on the first first uh, double bond uh, position, um, and this just give you um, some uh, pictures of the uh, omega three and uh, six fatty acids uh, structures, right? Um, like omega six fatty acids, the linoleic acid, right, is the essential fatty acids. Um, and has the 18 carbon, carbon and three, uh, sorry, two double bonds. Um, you know, the first double bond at the uh, omega-6 carbon position, right? Um, and this is the arachidonic acid, is the omega-3 family members, um, has the 20 carbon and four double bonds, right? Again, the first double bond also located at the carbon, omega-6 uh, carbon. Um, and omega-3 fatty acids, the um, alpha linolenic acid is this essential fatty, omega-3 essential fatty acids. Um, 18 double bond, 3, um, I'm sorry, 18 
Cabo has three double bonds, and so first double bond at the omega-3 position. Um, and EPA is uh, one of the uh, omega-3 family members, right? And, and 20 carbons and five double bonds, right? So um, again, um, uh, omega-3 and six uh, fatty acids usually is polyunsaturated fatty acids, right? Oh, so now, so uh, let's talk about omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids um, first. Mm, so linoleic acid, again, is essential omega-6 fatty acids, and main source, uh, source of the um, linoleic acid and include the corn oil and, you know, sunflower and seed oil and um, several. From oil, this oil, you know, type of oil contains a lot of uh, uh, linoleic acid, right? Um, and arachidonic acid um, and adrenal acid are the two uh, family omega three, uh, sorry, omega six family members. Um, and arachidonic acid can be synthesized from the dietary linoleic acid, right? So we uh, we get the linoleic acid from the diet and we can synthesize uh, arachidonic acid from linoleic acid. Um, and main uh, linoleic, uh, sorry, arachidonic acid uh, is also the main substrate for the synthesis of eicosanoid um, biomediators, um, for example, postglandins and leukotrienes, and these biomediators play a very important role uh, in the regulation of information, right? So involved in information. Um, and adrenal acid uh, it usually is converted from arachidonic acid by a several reaction, for example, elongation, right? Um, and it can also be converted back uh, to arachidonic acid. So arachidonic acid and adrenal acid, the these two uh, fatty acid can be interconverted, right? Um, so these are the three uh, family members of omega-6 fatty acids. And omega-3 uh, fatty acids also have, have a uh, family member, family also have a, uh, uh, three members, right? So alpha linoleic acid, again, is the essential fatty acids. The main source uh, of uh, alpha linoleic acid uh, includes uh, soybean oil, um, you know, the uh, clonal oil, and vegetarian, vegetation, you know, vegetable oil, right? So this type of oil also, you know, has a lot of uh, alpha linoleic acid. Um, and the two members of omega-3 fatty acids uh, EPA and DHA. Um, although DHA and EPA can be synthesized in the body, but they also we can get the uh, EPA DHA from the diet, right? So particularly like you know the fish oil, right? Um, uh, contain a lot of uh, omega-3 uh, EPA and DHA. Any questions? Okay. Um, so metabolism, um, again, what I mentioned many times, right, the, our body can synthesize the uh, other family members of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids from essential fatty acids, the LA or alpha-LA, I mean, linoleic acid or linolenic acid. Um, and the synthesis of um, omega-3 and six fatty acids uh, usually uh, can be accomplished by uh, can be accomplished by the same uh, reactions, right? Uh, for example, fatty acids chain elongation and desaturation and literal convert conversion, um, but the omega Three and six fatty acids, they are, they cannot be interconverted, 
right? They are kind of separate, you know, from the separate uh, pathway. They cannot be interconverted. Um, so this slide uh, show us the um, overall uh, process, the uh, the fatty acid synthesis, right? The, uh, you know, from the essential fatty acids. Uh, left uh, column showing the uh, synthesis of omega-6 fatty acid families from uh, linolenic acid, essential fatty acids, right? Um, again, involved several reaction desaturation to introduce double bonds and, and uh, elongates to extend the uh, carbon, uh, hydrogen carbon chain. Um, and you know, you depend on the which position uh, that double bond is formed. So we have a different type of a uh, desaturates, right? Delta six, the delta five. That means the uh, delta six desaturates catalyze the formation of double bond at the delta uh, six position, and uh, delta five, uh, you know, the same. Uh, Catalyzed formation of double bond at the delta five position, right? Um, and elongation uh, again, just uh, to extend the uh, high carbon uh, chain, right? Um, and uh, the similarly, uh, you uh, use the uh, oh, actually next slide. Um, so uh, similar reactions, right? Uh, for both the um, omega. Six and omega three family members uh, formation by right, our synthesis, uh, just uh, the substrate is different, right? Um, and here, for example, the rich, rich conversion means that um, the you know, for example, at this step, you already synthesize the twenty the fatty acid that has a twenty four carbons and five double bonds, and you can go back, to, you can. You know, somehow the uh, cleave the, the uh, uh, carbon chain and to reduce the uh, carbon numbers and also to these to sat saturate the double bonds, right? So so you can you know rich convert it back to the uh, you know, shorter chain and the less double bonds or something like this, right? Um, so and this. Is just give a little bit detailed, you know, for each uh, reactions, uh, desaturation and elongation reaction, right? Um, you know, different enzymes and adding the double bonds at a different position or adding the uh, carbons, right, to extend the uh, carbon chain, um, and and the reaction is actually pretty similar that we did we we discussed before, right? Uh, it also requires the uh, uh, melanol CoA, right, as the carbon donor, right, if, if you wanted to extend the carbon chain, um, and also requires the NADPH or NADH. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm not going to get the details, right? Um, so in terms of a function, I mentioned earlier that the omega-6 fatty acids usually uh, is used for synthesis of a bio mediators, uh, including in the cosinoids, um, you know, and also local churn and lipoxin and other um, mediators. Um, so these mediators are very Again, important for the uh, information reactions, right? And, and specifically, we uh, here we're going to uh, mention that each uh, omega six fatty acid members how uh, you know they are functioning. So, for example, linoleic acid, we know it basically is 
needed for synthesize other family members of omega-6 fatty acids, right? And it's also the component of a sphincter lipids. Um, so the type of lipids, actually we, our body has a, a many different type of lipids, right, that we have learned, you know, the triglyceride, uh, called the gristle lipids, right, um, and uh, cholesterol. Um, now we are learning the uh, unsaturated fatty acids, right, and, and also have a sphincter lipids um, or phospholipids, you know, uh, based on the structures. So um, the linoleic acid uh, is also being used um, for synthesis of sphincter lipids and can be um, served as a skin water barrier. Um, and alecrodonic acid, uh, again, the primary function of alecrodonic acid is for synthesis of a bowel um, uh, mediators, right? Um, uh, for example, eicosanoid, and it is a major component uh, of the phospholipids, right? Um, uh, that's okay if you cannot remember. I'm going to test, not going to test you, but just you know, man, uh, you know that kind of you know information uh, for you to know. Um, and the omega three, uh, sorry, omega six fatty acids, and some uh, of the eicosanoid that synthesized from uh, alecrodonic acid can serve as a ligand. Uh, for some of the very important uh, transcription factors, right, regulators. Um, you, you know, for example, some of the postgrandins uh, can activate PPAR gamma. Um, it's, a very, it's a key transcription factor that regulates lipid metabolism, right? Um, and All right. Um, so now the um, let's get a little bit detailed how alkaline acid, and, you know, it is used for synthesis of uh, the bowel mediators. Um, they actually involve the three enzymes: the sacrooxygenase, lipoxygenase, and sacrum um, P4. 450. Um, these three enzymes can catalyze the, the synthesis of a, a number of the um, bowel mediators, right, from the alkaline acid. So alkaline acid can serve as a substrate for all these uh, um, important mediators, the inflammatory mediators. Um, so particularly, these two group of uh, uh, Bowel mediators like uh, postglandins and leukotrienes, lipoxins. These are the very important mediators of inflammation by right, local inflammation. Um, so um, again, uh, you probably just need to remember that alkaline acid, one of the omega six family members, uh, play. Uh, and key role in terms of the synthesis of bowel mediators, right? Um, and that three enzymes that involved in the, in the bowel synthesis uh, process. So, for example, when we um, get an infection or something, right, and we, uh, our body actually synthesizes a lot of uh, uh, this type of uh, um, mediators, right, and from alkaline acid. So we need a lot of alkaline acid to synthesize the uh, uh, local uh, inflammatory mediators. Um, now omega-3 fatty acids. Um, three members of linoleic acid is the um, uh, essential fatty acids and other two members, EPA and DHA, right? Um, and similarly, um, 
EPA and DHA can also be used for synthesis of other type, another type of uh, mediators, um, and use a similar, use actually exactly the same three uh, enzymes, right, for synthesis of a different uh, set of uh, mediators, re resolvings and protectins. So resolving and protectins and are the compound that synthesize from EPA and DHA, but they play an opposite role, right? So resolving and protecting play an anti-inflammatory role. Um, so when we get inflammation, and our body uh, synthesizes both pro-inflammatory mediators and also anti-inflammatory mediators. Um, because um, you know we don't want to inflammation to go uh, a longer time, right? It, it, inflammation uh, response is good for our body, you know, to get rid of the um, the uh, in, invaded whatever microorganism or bacteria or, or or virus or whatever. But we we just want to have a right amount of the inflammation, right? So resolving information is another part of uh, uh, important function of our body. Um, you know, we can uh, to reduce or to suppress or whatever called resolving the information. We don't want it to information goes too long, right? Too uh, you know, too um, strong that will also also causing the damage of our tissue cells, right? So resolving is another important part of kind of balance. Um, so we need uh, uh, omega-3 fatty acids to um, to be uh, used for synthesis of anti-inflammatory uh, mediators, right? So okay. So remember the um, this two set of the. Uh, fatty acids use the same three enzymes, right, for the synthesis of uh, pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory mediators. Um, so they kind of, kind of com compete, right, for the uh, same enzymes. Um, so, so again, the omega-3 and uh, 6 fatty acids, they have a functional relationship. Um, reason is again, you know, the uh, either EPA omega three fatty acids or arachidonic acid omega six fatty acids uh, use the same set of enzymes for synthesis anti-inflammatory eicosanoid or pro-inflammatory eicosanoid, right? Um, so they are compete for actually metabolizing enzyme three enzymes. So if we have a uh, uh, too much arachidonic acid, um, then we utilize more this enzyme, right, for synthesized pro-inflammatory uh, intermediates. Uh, um, so then we will have an increased inflammatory response, right? Um, and on, in other words, if we have a, a less or not enough uh, omega-3 fatty acids, then um, we have, a, a, oh, sorry, what are you trying to say? We, if we have a, a more EPA or more omega-3 fatty acids, then we can, inhib we can inhibit the production of pro-inflammatory intermediates, right, because of the competition, you know, uh, for the uh, same set of enzymes, does that make sense? So have you guys heard uh, about uh, the anti-inflammatory effect of uh, um, fish oil or omega-3 fatty acids, right? So this it is kind of mechanism, you know, that the anti-inflammatory role of the omega-3 fatty acids is, is actually compete uh, with the uh, omega-6 fatty acids for synthesis of uh, uh, anti-inflammatory mediators, right? Any questions? Right. 
Um, so, as I just mentioned, that uh, um, omega-3 fatty acids can be uh, used for synthesis omega-3 eicosanoid, which are the small molecules um, that more, you know, have a um, pro-inflammatory, sorry, have the anti-inflammatory role, right? Um, the the omega-3 eicosanoids. Um, and overall function, um, omega-3 fatty acids can inhibit omega-6 eicosanoid production, I just described, you know, to uh, um, to inhibit the, um, the omega-3, uh, the omega-6 biomediated production. Um, and so omega-3 eicosanoid has Eicosanoids have an anti-inflammatory effect, right? Um, a lot of study actually has done uh, omega-3 uh, fatty acid function. It has a um, uh, increased fatty acid oxidation, right, which is good to, uh, you know, uh, burn more fat and have a sort of a, a weight loss effect, right? Um, and also um, have a, a decrease uh, Trigrisal levels in the plasma um, can also inhibit, you know, the hepatic trigrisal synthesis, which means we can probably uh, prevent fatty liver disease. And so, you know, have all kind of uh, beneficial health beneficial effect. Um, and that was the EPA and DHA and another um, family members of omega-3 fatty acids. It has a, uh, it basically present in the phospholipids of cell membrane, um, and uh, as is actually the present at the high concentration in the retinal and the brain. So if you guys have a, a probably know that it had probably had some uh, uh, beneficial effect can improve the cognit cognitive function, right, to, to, you know, to brain health, it, it, it is, uh, uh, um, it's, okay. Um, this probably is the last slide, I guess, so, for this session. Um, And the, the, the metabolites of uh, omega-3 and uh, 6 fatty acids usually can uh, regulate a number of uh, transcription factors, right? So here I just give you three transcription factors, PPL gamma, um, LXR, and SIBP. Um, this transcription factor activity can be regulated by uh, omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. I can regulate the gene expression uh, that involves the lipid metabolism, right, or glucose metabolism. Um, the, okay, yeah, I have a, a name for the, all these transcription factors. So um, SIBP, I think we kind of familiar, right? It's the, uh, transcription factor that regulates the cholesterol, right, HMG-CoA reductase, so regulates cholesterol synthesis. Um, and PPAL gamma is um, per oxisome um, proliferator and activate receptor, right, so it's the transcription factor, PPAR. Um, and this transcription factor has been studied for a long time, uh, actually when I uh, did my PhD and we studied PPL gamma. So it regulates like adipocyte differentiation, uh, regulates lipid metabolism, right? Um, and uh, the one of the targets of the PPL gamma is, for example, group four. So PPL gamma uh, activate group four, so increase group four uh, levels expression. Um, and LXR is liver X receptors, right? It's 
also transcription factors that regulate lipid metabolism, uh, cholesterol metabolism. Um, that's okay, you, you know, if you don't need to remember, just mention, you know, how uh, this fatty acids function and connect with the metabolism, right? Uh, okay, so we have learned the, um, from, from this session the um, two essential fatty acids, right? Alpha linoleic acid, uh, sorry, linoleic acid, alpha linolenic acid, right? Um, these are the two uh, essential fatty acids that we must uh, obtain from the diet because we uh, cannot synthesize this two fatty, essential fatty acids because we lack which enzymes? I remember. Delta 12 and delta 15 desaturates, right? Um, and human bodies cannot be completely synthesized, right? Because of lacking, again, these two uh, desaturates. Um, and omega-6 family uh, fatty acids uh, can be synthesized from uh, linoleic acid, right? Um, and uh, so what are the main um, omega-6 family members? Which fatty acids are the yeah, ethylonic and genic fatty acids, right? Um, and these two fatty acids can be synthesized from the LA, right? Um, and ethylonic acid is the main substrate of the eicosanoid or bowel mediators. Um, and basically, omega-6 eicosanoid or bowel mediators are pro-inflammatory, right? So you know, play a role in in the inflammatory reactions, um, and omega three fatty acids can be synthesized from alpha linolenic acid, right? Um, and both synthesis actually uh, through the same reactions pathways, right? And desaturation, <coughs> elongation reaction, right? Several you know uh, reactions, um, and two main uh, family members of omega-3 fatty acids are uh, EPA and DHA. Um, and these uh, eight fatty acids can be used for synthesis of anti-inflammatory uh, mediators, right? Um, and again, uh, two family members, uh, they use the same um, Enzymes, three enzymes for synthesis of uh, um, bowel mediators, right? So they kind of compete. Um, so that kind of the mechanism, you know, right? You know, if uh, for the EPL DHA anti-inflammatory effect. Um, I think I pretty much that's all I have for today. Um, well, we have a a lot of time left. <laughs> so, um, do you guys have uh, any questions about the uh, exam next, next Tuesday? Uh, or specific question, you know, related to material or uh, something that? No? Yes? Uh, the format. Yeah, the same, exactly, uh, same format, you know, five, uh, 55 questions, yeah. Um, okay, so, yeah, let's uh, see you guys uh, on Tuesday. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, you mean whether we have a question like for case study or something? Will be will be in the exam? Um, yes, I want to say, yes.